the joyful worship of a Sunday morning. A small congregation of First Missionary Baptist Church of Baldwin we do thank you, Lord. prays it will survive a scandal threatening to tear them apart. Yes, Lord. I'm telling you, it's just ripped my heart out. It turns your life upside down. It just tore our kids apart. It is the disclosure that former pastor Richard Rollins took more than $100,000 of church funds for his own use, including lavish trips to Paris, France, and Cairo, Egypt. I remember that Sunday when he said that he, you know, would pick up the bill for that particular trip. We had no idea that um, we were paying for it. Pastor Rollins also spent hundreds of dollars each at Banana Republic, Saks Fifth Avenue, and several expensive restaurants, but refused to explain his bills to the congregation when many members first discovered them six years ago. Reverend Rollins spoke to the whole church body and said we couldn't understand some of the expenses that he had made and he would not show us the records. I was quite offended. So the church voted to remove Pastor Rollins and the deacons. Rollins believed he was railroaded, sued the church, and won the right to have another election which he lost. Three years ago, the church sued Rollins, accusing him of stealing church money. The judge in the case requested an independent investigation of church finances, and based on that report, the judge found Rollins owed the church $107,826 for what she called unauthorized expenses, including pension payments of more than 43000 a car valued at $14,700, and a $12,000 check from the church construction fund that was used to pay his medical expenses. The report noted that the payment from the construction fund was a violation of the Federal Internal Revenue Code. The judge also found that Rollins should repay the church for $6,500 in travel, meals, and auto expenses that he charged to the church credit card. I kind of lost my mind a little bit. The church was furious with Rollins, who insisted that his expenses were authorized by former First Missionary Baptist leaders. This was not about the money specific. This is about the behavior. This is about showing how responsible one should be as a Christian. Hi, Pastor Rollins. News 4 Investigates tried repeatedly to interview Rollins, but he declined. First, the invisibility of God. Now, First Baptist holds services at a school. The old church was demolished, and some of the property was sold with the plan to build a new place of worship. In February, the church expects to finally break ground on its new building. Hopefully, we can move on and put all this behind us. Richard Rollins has also moved on. He's now the pastor at First Missionary Baptist Christian Church, which reportedly has a congregation of fewer than 10 members. My only saving grace is at the end, he has someone else to answer to. Pastor Rollins has appealed the judgment against him, again insisting that the former leadership of the church authorized his expenses. You can read the judgment for yourself and the pastor's appeal by going to our website, kmov.com. Craig Cheatham, News 4 Investigates.